Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I finished reading this really good book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It's a short, concise guidebook to everything you need to know about Google Drive and Docs. It's written here by Ian Lamont, who is an award-winning business and technology journalist. And it's part of a series of books uh, that he publishes um, called In 30 Minutes. And some of you might recall that I reviewed one of the other books, um, the book about crowdfunding. So let's take a quick look at the website for um, In 30 Minutes. I have it right here. So this is the in30minutes.com website, um, in30minutes.com. And you can see this crowdfunding here. If you look at the books, there is a bunch of, there's a whole series of these books. And I'm clicking over here. So crowdfunding basics in 30 minutes. And so that um, gives you a lot of tips and tricks. And you can see my review of that book on my book review website, which is at sites.google.com slash site slash Phil Shapiro book reviews. And over here, crowdfunding basics in 30 minutes. There's a, a video review I made of that really good book. Um, so let's minimize this over here and come back to the book review. Yes, yeah, so this short guidebook is one as a series of guidebooks in 30minutes.com. Here's a, a scan I made of the table of contents to give you an idea. Um, it explains the difference between Google Drive and Google Docs. I think Google Docs started maybe about 2005, 2006, um, and it's used so widely in schools. Here in, in the town where I work, we have students come from the school, they started their work at school, they come to the public library, they do some of their, continue some of their work here, and then they finish at home, all in Google Docs. They don't use any flash drives or floppy disks or f anything. It's really nice. Google Drive, Google Docs automatically saves their writing. So, here is Google Docs Basics, um, how to format a document, um, Google Sheets and Google Forms. I love Google Forms. So many smart people love Google Forms. It's a way of collecting information from people. And it all ends up in a spreadsheet. It's so fun and interesting and useful. Uh, Google Slides, Google Drawing. People don't know much about Google Drawing. It's a simple vector graphics, graphics program and collaboration, how to do collaboration, um, which is the future of all work is going to be collaborative, so you might as well get, start getting used to it. Um, one thing I like about this book is that it covers using Google Docs and Drive in the web browser as well as on Android and iOS. So I'm more of a browser person, but I'm glad they have uh, information about Android and iOS use of Google Docs and Drive. One thing I liked about the book, it's very honest. So, like it's, it's not written by somebody who works for Google so that um, the author can be more independent and candid. So it says over here on Google Slides, uh, Slides is definitely the runt of the litter. Yes, it handles all of the things you would expect in a standard slideshow, but the presentations don't look sophisticated, a potential negative for business users. So for me, I'm a LibreOffice person. <clears throat> so I use the LibreOffice presentation program, which I love. And um, uh, I used it to make this. This PDF that I'm looking at right now was made in LibreOffice presentation and exported to a PDF format. And so here's Google Drawing. I didn't know that Google Drawing could be used for making simple maps or wireframes, diagrams. So um, that's something new I learned in this book that maybe I should go and give Google Drawings a, a try. I tend to love to use the LibreOffice drawing program, which reminds me in some ways of the old Apple Works Clarus Works drawing program from the 1990s, which I developed um, a real fondness for back in the old days. Those of us who were back, who lived back in the last century might remember Apple Works and Clarus Works. So uh, if you'd like to contact me or follow me, here's my Twitter and email. If you'd like to see my book reviews, I have about 50 book reviews, most of them in video form. I do video form book reviews, so it reaches a broader audience. And some of the people who see my book reviews in video form, 
they might choose to access the book in audiobook format. And so that, um, that can um, expand the number of people uh, enjoying books. If you're curious how I made this screencast, I'm using some free software called Simple Screen Recorder. I have an old ThinkPad T400. It's from about 2008. Um, it's the kind of laptop that people might give away for free. And you could be making this kind of screencast too. I have um, an external 23 inch monitor, 1920 by 1080, that's plugged into my laptop. I have a Logitech webcam that I really love. And then my audio is being recorded to my Olympus digital audio recorder. And then I merge the video file and the audio file before I upload it to the, to YouTube and I synchronize it so that the audio is synchronized. And, um, here's just a few extra free thoughts. Um, with book reviews, when you're making book reviews of any kind, um, it's a way of thanking the author for the book. So it takes time and effort for me to make my book reviews that I do in video form, but it brings me joy to know that this is one way that I can thank the author for all the effort. Some authors, it might take them six months or a year to write a book. Sometimes it takes three to five years. And so it's a way of giving them dignity by saying, you know what, you spent time writing this book and I'm going to spend some time making a review of your book. Uh, as a way of saying thank you. So thank you, Ian Lamont. You did really well with this book. It shows how much you care, um, the quality of the book. Uh, I found zero typos and everything was really well done. Uh, this is the kind of book you can buy for a friend or family as a gift. Um, buy a copy for your brother-in-law who's uh, not all that bright. Wait a second. I'm the brother-in-law that's not that bright. <laughs>